I'm going to describe an interactive simulation that demonstrates multiple steady states in a continuous stirred tank reactor and shows the phase plane behavior. This is interactive simulation that's located on the Wolfram site, and I've given the location here. And what I'm showing are a couple snapshots. One is the concentration versus temperature behavior. This is the phase plane. So I've selected several initial concentrations. So I can change the starting temperature. That's T0, in this case 320. And then there are five concentrations over the range. This is reacting concentrations. And then I watch out approaches equilibrium. So as a function of time, for example, if I start here, I move along this pathway of concentration and temperature as a function of time, and eventually I hit this what's called a limit cycle. So I can also do just one initial concentration, and then I can plot temperature versus time for just one, and you can see you get oscillations that continue on. You can also look at conversion. Conversion gets higher as the reacting concentration gets lower. So we can look at conversion versus time. For this particular condition, we also will see oscillations. And then we can look at an energy versus time plot, and we'll look at that when we go to the simulation. The idea is that hopefully gives a better idea of behavior when we have reaction, CSTR, we have heat transfer, Things can get out of phase and we can get these oscillations. We can have more than one stable solution to the mass and energy balances. So let's go and look at the simulation to get a better idea how these CSTRs behave. So here's the interactive simulation and you can see the behavior that was represented in the first part of this screencast. And so let's look at this energy versus temperature diagram. Energy balance, energy Basically, one of these is a mass balance and one is an energy balance. And as I change the residence time, notice I'll get the residence time where now we have three intersections, which means three solutions, two of which are stable. So let's look at the case where we have three solutions possible. And if we go back, now you can see we're going to the condition where there's essentially no reaction. So this is the concentration reactant. So it's basically the same as the inlet reactant concentration. If I raise the temperature, now notice we've reached a high enough temperature that when we start at the high concentration, we go to the solution which has high temperature, low reactant concentration namely high conversion. And so, so you can see it's dependent on the temperature and concentration as to which conditions we end up with. And as I keep raising the temperature, then more and more of the solutions go to that steady state that's at high conversion, low reactant concentration. We also can look at how conversion versus time and temperature versus time behave, notice the overshoot and temperature. If we go back to the conditions where we can have oscillations, now we can see the conversion. Conversion of one, of course, means the concentration reactant essentially zero. Notice the oscillations now that continue forever. And likewise, there are temperature oscillations. So over certain conditions of resonance time, we can get these oscillations and then other conditions that stabilizes and we only have a stable solution as opposed to continuous oscillations. This hopefully gives you a better idea how a continuous stirred tank reactor that has heat exchange can behave and the heat exchange and the reaction essentially can get out of phase and show this oscillation type behavior.